Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm going to go after the Eggletort at Kashwan, so let's do it! Now, this is where the game starts to get a little more challenging. Not too hard yet, but it's definitely starting to pick up the pace. Uh, most of the enemies here are rank 3, um, after you get through the first floor, that is. Um, not to mention Adamantois is now a random encounter as a rank 5 monster, so you gotta be careful there. Uh, Furion, because he doesn't have that much MP, will probably need um, another, but it's really hard for me to build on his MP with his spells at level 2, so um, don't worry about using your others, though. I mean, uh, we got plenty of gold, or we're going to get more gold, too, and uh, we're really not going to have anything else to spend it on for most of the part, so we'll be okay there. Um, Maria probably shouldn't need to use another as long as you uh, uh, pace her pretty well with her MP. Um, she should certainly be able to get fire up to level 5 by the time we're done here. And uh, my goal for Furion would be to get heal and life about halfway up to level 4. So um, that's where I want to be there. So let's uh, get that Eggle Torch. Ah, there's the Sun Flame. So not much we can do with it now. So let's open that door. It's locked. Damn it. Let's see if this bell will get me in there. Yay! It fills the air with sound. But the door is still locked! What the hell? No, no, it's open. Uh, for some reason, the door always says that it's locked there, even though I opened it. So, let's move on. What? It's Gordon! What's he doing here? He's trying to get the Eggle Torch, but he couldn't defeat the monsters. You don't know where the Eggle Torch is in your own castle? You spoony guy. And you look at his stats, he does look pretty spoony. I mean, look at him. What, what, what's he doing here? I mean, he's got, you know, not, not that much HP there and very little MP, but his stats are pretty good, actually. He's actually not nearly as bad as he looks. And look at those base stats. I mean, all of them are pretty darn good at this point in the game. So we can basically do whatever we want with him, really. Uh, for equipment, though, um, as you can see, um, he's not really skilled in any particular weapon type, so I can do whatever I want there. So I'm going to train him in axes, because um, they're the most p powerful weapons, or, well, among the most powerful weapons, uh, while he's in our party. So that's why I held on to the battle axe here. Let's get rid of all that heavy equipment. And equip him with some lighter equipment. Remove those two potions. I might use those later. And also, since he has pretty good intelligence, I'm going to give him the ice spell. This will give him something useful to do during battles against those Adamantoises. So, that's everything I want to do to get Gordon ready, so let's move on. I don't think there's any enemies here. Guess not. Okay, let's uh, take the right path down first. There's a chest down there. There it is. And we get a cure book. I'm going to want to save that for later. So let's uh, backtrack and take the other path this time. And just head the other way this time. Okay, that room there is just an empty room. So let's head down instead. Okay, now you can start feeling free to use your uh, spells because uh, this is where the enemies start getting up to rank 3 and getting a little tougher, so let's do it! Okay, here's a new enemy, Were Rats. Um, I think they can paralyze you with their physical attacks. I'd have to double check that one. Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. Attack, attack. There we go. Much better. They have about 60 HP. Oh, they, well, they're a little weaker than I thought they were. I was going to say they're pretty tough, but I was wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Were-Rats can envenom you with their physical attacks. Uh, I just looked up my bestiary here. Yeah, I, I had that one wrong. Sorry. Uh, th their cousins can... Uh, they have a cousin later on in the game that can stun you, so. 
path is pretty straightforward from here. And we get, well, 300 gil, you know, working our way up, you know, it's better than one gil. You know, gotta get, start somewhere. There we are. Okay, uh, again, straightforward path. There's no false wall to the right. Uh, I don't think there's any false walls in this area, but whatever. And here's another new enemy, Wraiths. Let me uh, look them up, see what they do that's special. Let's see, they can drain your HP with their physical attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not even going to bother removing my equipment. Maria can kill them with a single fire spell, so um, that's just what I'm going to do here. I just want uh, Furion to be practicing his life spell, that's why I'm not even bothering. Yeah, that's not going to do anything at level 2. They've got pretty good magic defense, so... That should do it. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now the lower left path and the path to the right are just dead ends, so let's head down. Actually, the path to the right is where we want to go eventually, but we want to head downward first. Okay, this chest contains a gold shield, but there's monsters inside, so I will take care of them and be right back if I don't show you the battle. Okay, well now that we have that gold shield, let's put it to use. Uh, I'm going to give it to Guy just because. You could give it to anyone, really, but he has lowest base agility, so I figured, well, he could use it, even though his shield levels are higher, but, ah, eh, whatever. So, um, oh yeah, that chest contains some wear rats, so nothing to worry about, so let's move on. Okay, now that path to the right is a dead end, so we need to backtrack a little and walk around to get there. Okay, that was a battle with an adamantois, uh, not terribly challenging, uh, I just decided to edit it out, but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Maria's fire spell is actually fairly useful against it, so, I mean, I figured, why not use that instead? Um, but yeah, Gordon gained some HP in that one, and, uh, got some experience with his life spell, so, there you are. With that out of the way, let's conti continue moving onward. Down here. Okay, we made it, so now we got some treasure rooms to look at here. Okay, that room down there is not empty, so let's take a look. The, the, okay, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, that other room there is empty, so let's check out this room first. And we get a Mithril Axe, which I want to give to Gordon, so that's why I didn't even bother purchasing one. Mithril Axes are pretty expensive, so, but now we find one, and he's one of our most powerful warriors now. Well, not anymore. Now we have the Werecane, or Werebane in future translations. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's going to be quite a fighter now, even though I really don't want her to be, but eh. And here's another new enemy, Gas. Oh, crap. I think they can cast Blind on my party. Or Darkness us with their physical attacks or something. I'll check it out while my guys are attacking next round, but I definitely want Furion to use um, Life just in case. Um, or maybe they can... Uh, no, they, they can paralyze you with their physical attacks. So um, if they paralyze Maria... You know, I'd be screwed, so I want to have a backup plan here. Life should work this time if he goes first, which I doubt, but if he does, it'll work. Okay. Okay. 
Well, okay, I guess I'm not going to be able to show off life yet. I will get it to work sooner or later, viewers. Just trust me on that one. Yay! And we get the Mithril Sword if you felt like waiting this long to get it, but I didn't, so... Okay, well this looks like a good place to stop, so that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Next time, the ga we get, uh, not the goddess belt, the Eggle Torch! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!